Are you happy? Generally speaking. Are you happy with what you're doing? Do you think that what you're doing now is something that you're going to do forever? Maybe work? Maybe school? Maybe working at school? What? I was in a position, a very good position, in a very good industry that a lot of guys would pay to work there. I was a DJ at a gentleman's club, Titty Bar, for a long, 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 long time. And I rose up from a bartender to a DJ, to a mediocre DJ, to a fairly good DJ, I guess. And, you know, I got to do management as, you know, DJ management type stuff, you know, scheduling and blah, 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 maintenance of equipment and all that stuff. It was good, but it, it took its toll on me. I slowly started to have a disgust in a way for the business for the same old, same old, same old, every day in and day out, the same old thing. The excuses, the lying, the drama, the fights. It takes its toll on you. It was a matter of weeks before things went from hey to damn, what's going on around here? And it sucks. It sucked. And I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I was nervous. I had bills and responsibilities and all this stuff. And I didn't know what the heck to do. I mean, I was scared. Then I got sick and I had to have surgery, emergency surgery. And I was stuck in the hospital for a while because I had an infection in my body that wouldn't permit the surgery to just take place. I had to, they had to heal me before they could physically do the surgery. Someone's car alarm is going off. I better go check. Happiness. So, okay, there I was. Okay, that's enough. Calm down. Calm down. I was stuck in a rut in pig pod land. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I lost my vehicle. I just got out of the hospital. I wasn't feeling great, you know? And um, I had to do something. So I turned to something I should have done years ago. I mean, I'm happy I, I did what I did and worked in the industry I worked in. I'm happy I did it because it was a great experience. I met lots and lots of great people, and it was, it was a lot of fun. But my overall happiness was, mm, I'd say, like 70%, right? Now, I've been working, doing what I'm doing, painting and such. You know, this you've seen for the last, you know, close to a year, I guess. And let me tell you, I'm so much more happy now than I have been in the last, let's just say 15 years. One, I, I can do something I like and in time be able to make a living at it. Right now, I'm just getting, like, it's just getting the ball rolling. It takes a while, and it's taking a lot longer for me to get that ball rolling than it would for someone else who had, like, a plan. I didn't really have a plan. I just kind of went and did this. I started doing it, and then realized, okay, I, I, I need to do this to be happy, and the potential is there to uh, have a good income 
like I said, it, it's part of, part of it that's hold, it's holding me back in a way is fear. Fear of should I be should I be doing this or should I get back into doing something that I know I can make money at and 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 make a living and and be okay or should I continue has gone this far should I continue to do what I'm doing be truly happy but do without for a while that's where I'm at I'm happy I'm I'm, gener I'm 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 pretty happy. I gotta say, I mean, I don't have the best of luck. Like my truck doesn't work, as you guys know. My transmission went out. Um, it just things like that. I that things happen that I can't control, and it seems like I have that black cloud over my head. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. And I really, honestly think that I do. I have a black cloud over me. If, if something bad can happen, that's not devastatingly bad, you know, I won't even say the words, but you understand what I mean, uh, it will, you know, things go wrong. Like for example, tonight, I, we, I kind of had plans with somebody, a friend that, that I, I really, really, really want to see, and we had great plan, plans to meet and, and all this tonight, and it didn't happen due to bad luck. I mean, things just were supposed to go one way and up until an hour before we were supposed to meet, everything was fine. That last hour, everything just went completely sour. And I'm not feeling sorry for myself because I don't. I'm kind of used to it. But, you know, at times it does take its toll on me where I feel like, damn, why me? What did I do wrong in a former life to get this kind of outcome about everything? I don't know. But generally speaking, you, are you happy? Are you young enough to make a change? Even if you're not in your, you know, some people say that what my age to start over and do something different is too too old. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I don't think as long as you have the drive and you the means, and you want to try something new, it's not gonna totally devastate someone's world or your own or your family's je you know jeopardized by it or something. Their well-being, their health, their happiness. Why not, man? I don't know. It's weird. I have some weird comfort in stepping into this so late in life. It's weird. Truly weird. This has been Deep Thoughts. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm a fool. And this is completely wrong. All my way of thinking, everything is completely wrong. I'm not trying to be deep with you guys. Hey, hey. I, I don't... No. I'm not trying to be deep. I'm not trying to be like some kind of... Whatever. Some life guru or anything like that. Nope. Just talking. Sometimes talking out loud, even to myself, which is essentially what I'm doing, it helps. Even though I talk to the dogs like they're people, I sometimes talk to them like they're going to answer me. Thank you for listening. Really. Like I said, sometimes just talking it out makes you feel better. I don't really think I came to any conclusions or anything, but more solidified the fact that I think I'm happy. Solidified the word to use there? More re... Re... There's a word. There's a word I'm looking for. Don't know it. Can't think of it. But there's a word. If you can think of the word, please put it in the comments. I'm gonna let you go now. I just realized that I never edited and put the description in yesterday's vlog that's been up 
on the channel unpublished. So I'm going to co publish that now and um, see if anything else happens before I go to bed. It's already 12.15 at night. A.M. at night. Hey! Hey! The dogs are starting to get restless, so I'm going to go and, and put some of them inside and uh, take my own ass inside to bed as well. Thank you for listening. I'm Max Dean. You're my friend. Can we be friends? Fine. Talk at you later.